Welcome to a Friday's R4U on Uncle Buck's Bale Buckle Beer Review. And I've got some, uh, I'm sitting out here in my front yard. My driveway's right behind me here. I've got two Bradford pear trees. And y'all can hear them. The cicadas are just going crazy. I call it my cicada serenade. But man, I can, I can just sit here and look, and they're just flying all over these two Bradford pear trees, just going nuts. And uh, so I want to get out here and, and record them while I can still hear them and stuff. They're going to be gone at the end of the month. But anyway, I just, whatever. Anyway, what I've got for you today is a, uh, a Belgian brew. It's actually a Belgian blonde ale. And it's one that I've never had before, but it's from Duvel. And it's called a 6.66, which is a little bit scary, but it's a 6.66, not necessarily a 6.66. Um, this, uh, it says on here, let yourself be swept away by the dance of six of the six hop duvels, inspired by the fruity aromas of the six hops and zest of orange. Enjoy the fresh taste of this blonde duvel with natural refreshment. Uh, re-fermentation and a beautiful slightly cloudy appearance all right so this is a 6.6 percent alcohol by volume and it's brewed with six different hops therefore getting to 6.66 all right so this is a DeVille it's brewed in Belgium and we're fixing to try it today on a Friday's are for you this stuff was uh, looks like it was bottled on December of 2023, I guess, whatever, anyway, um, I got this and two other DeVales in a uh, party pack, or whatever you want to call it, it's one of them uh, promotional packs where they have uh, several of them, that was, that was three others, I got, I got four all together and a glass to go with it, um, Belgian Blonde Ale from DeVale. 6.66 and let's see DeVale has a tendency to spew on me but this one's not going to spew this time well I've got suds coming up in the top of it look at that there it comes oh yeah look at that and y'all it's it kind of looking like it's going to rain Ooh. well I just barely stopped it in time I've got dark clouds here and there. I can see a little blue sky here and there. But it's kind of looking like rain behind me for sure. So I'm trying to get a couple of these done before it rains. But look at the head on that thing. And it's a little bit cloudy. It's got a little bit of haze to it there. Oh, but it's got a wonderful uh, Belgian aroma. Belgian ale aroma is coming off of it, man. Mmm, that richness. Man, it's just, I can't win. It's bad enough I got the cicadas. It's afternoon, y'all. Everybody and their grandmother wants to come by. I got a dead gum military helicopter fixing it. Y'all probably hear it. Got a military helicopter flying over me here. People blowing their damn horns. I told y'all, it ain't, you ain't, ain't no telling what you're gonna hear. We're out here in the country. Ain't no telling what you're gonna hear out here. You might hear roosters crowing, turkeys gobbling, helicopters, airplanes, knuckleheads shooting guns, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> anyway, it's gonna taste this head. Tastes like. <laughs> I've had this before, y'all. This flavor. I've never had this beer before, but the flavor in this ain't that don't look like a military helmet. It might be. It sounds like one, but it don't look like one. It looks a little small. Anyway, the flavor in this head I have experienced before in a let's see, what was it? It was a new Belgian brew. Uh I can't remember what it's called now. It was a orange something orange triple but the head the flavor in the head tasted like a juicy fruit chewing gum 
and I'm getting a little bit of that out of this head here. It tastes a little bit like juice fruit chewing gum. And that wind's going crazy. I'm hoping it ain't messing up my microphone too bad, but the clouds are starting blowing. It's gonna rain on me for too long. I gotta hurry up and get these stuff. <laughs> the sun's been in and out today, so you know, whatever. And when the wind blows, the cicadas get quiet. And when the wind dies down, they come back out. You hear them. They start to come back out now. When the wind blows, they quiet down. And here they crank it back up again. Anyway, but that's a pretty cloudy brew. Beautiful gold color. Let me get that bottle up there where you can see it. Duvel 6.66. Belgian Blonde Ale. Pretty brutal. Now, I think it was a Belgian Orange Triple from New Belgian Brewing Company that I had, where the head tasted like juice fruit chewing gum. This is similar to it, but it does it's not as strong. You can still detect that little bit of a juicy fruit type flavor. It's not overly sweet or anything like that, but it's it, you can tell that that's kind of what it tastes like to me, anyway. Um, I'm gonna give this bottle a swish. It looks like well, it ain't got much down there in the bottom of it, but it's re-fermented in the bottle. That's what it said on on the label here. We'll pull that out. Yeah, I ain't got no film on it or nothing. Established in 1871. 11.2 fluid ounces. Delightful and refreshing, what it says. Alright, back there we can see it kind of. So this 6.66 Belgian Blonde Ale from Duvel out of Belgium. At a 6.6% ABV, brewed with six different kind of hops. This is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the hard work that you do to provide for yourselves, your families, and pay your own way, just like I do. And vote Conan. <laughs> Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear that lamentation of their women. <laughs> Cheers, brothers and sisters. I love and appreciate y'all. Man, that is delicious. It's all right, so it's a Belgian blonde ale, but the flavor of it is not as strong as some of the other Belgian blonde ales I've had. I mean, you can still tell it's a Belgian blonde. It's got that that distinctive Belgian flavor. It's okay about the light on my bottle there. Um, it's got that, 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 you know, that distinctive Belgian flavor. It's just not as strong, but it's delicious. Very easy to drink, man. Goes down smooth. Oh. And it is delightful and refreshing. That's what it said on the bottle. I believe it. It's good. Um, it has a little bit more bitterness than some of the other Belgian ales that I've had in the finish. Got a little more bitterness in the finish than some of the others I've had, which I don't mind that at all. I love bitterness in beer. So and this is a good one. Uh, I'm gonna score it an A, y'all. It's got a wonderful flavor. Mmm. Oh. All right, y'all. That's been a Friday's R for you this week. I'll be back tomorrow for a uh, uh, Saturday Suds. I got something special for you tomorrow. It's something I'm it's an alcoholic beverage that I've never tried It's not whiskey. It's not wine. It's not beer. It's something a little different. So y'all stay tuned and check it out. Love and appreciate y'all Cheers